Ready, Rambo? Yeah. Billy, can you just talk about sort of re-racking and getting into the playoff? I mean, was it easier just to clear your mind, or is that kind of the way you do it? I was more nervous in the playoff than I, I think I've been in all my three matches today or this week. Uh, I just think when you know you want to move on, you want to get into that round the 16. I, I've had several opportunities over the years to, to move on, and um, I, I haven't done it. I mean, the one that sticks to me is being two up with two to play against Rory in, in the third round match at Harding Park and, and lose both those holes and, and then to lose on the second hole there um, at Harding Park to him. So I've had opportunities. I haven't really done a good, good enough job of uh, closing out some stuff. So um, yeah, I was nervous uh, a little bit and uh, I got lucky that Max had the door open the first two holes and, and, and then it, uh, the, didn't close it. Um, and, and I hit a really good shot on number, number three. And, and so, uh, like I said, I got a little lucky. I played really good against Colin, should have won that match. This match against, or this little sudden death playoff with Max, I got lucky. Uh, Billy, how did you spend uh, the time in between? I wish we could have gone right out and played. Yeah. I really wish we could have. Um, I know it, we have to wait till the other matches goes. Uh, um, but I think I, I went in the caddy area, just sat down for about 20, 30 minutes, watched a little on TV, and then about 25 minutes before we went, had the tee off, um, just hit a few balls, hit a few putts, and, and went. But, um, yeah, I would have loved just to go on right at the number one. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to think about it, right? Uh, I don't think it's so much about thinking about it. I just think, you know, you're just sort of in a nice rhythm of flow with your swing, and then and then you sort of got to take a, an hour to to 75-minute break um, before you go again. So uh, no big deal. It paid off. <laughs> Kind of a unique feeling in that, you know, obviously on a stroke play event, you could have a playoff on a Sunday. But here, you know, your hopes are just so precarious to get into the round of 16. It could go one of two ways. Is that kind of strange? It is. Uh, you know, winning the first match means I'm in the driver's seat still. And then yesterday, I didn't play very good against JT. Um, I gave him a lot of holes. And, and so uh, I, knew I, I knew I needed to win the day. And I knew I needed some help from Max. Yeah. And... Um, Max played well, and so, uh, yeah, it just you're, you just never know what can happen out there. And um, I did a good job of taking care of my business and, and getting myself in a playoff, and that's all I could have asked for, and I was, I was fortunate enough to, to close it out. Were you kicking yourself after yesterday's match? Yeah, yeah, I was. Um, I just didn't hit it very good. Um, Todd and I are sort of just making a few more tweaks to the swing just to – find that little little uh, special sweet spot. Um, and so yesterday I think may have been a little bit of a rust from, from taking a week off. And, um, had a fun time with my family last week on vacation. And, um, but maybe just a little bit of rust, missed a lot of greens. I think my mental, mentally I wasn't in some shots and, and short game is not very good this week. So I'm, I'm, I'm sort of uh, playing away from my short game a little bit right now. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I was kicking myself because when you have an opportunity like that, I gave him five holes. I mean, I mean, I made five bad bogeys and just handed him holes. So that that at the end of the day, when you look at that, you know, it, it just you kick yourself in the in the rear end for that. And then if you can just walk me through the second shot on the last playoff hole, that looked pretty saucy. Yeah, that's we didn't have a great number. We had 153 pin. Um, we've got to fly at least the hole high. If not, there's a slope that'll bring it back. And so uh, Dilly and I were trying to land it about four past it. And um, so that's 57, and then you add in wind, and it's probably playing around 62 to 65, maybe 70. Actually, it was playing 70. It was a lot of wind, I think, was what we had in. If I fly to 8-iron perfect, it's, it's the right club. But if it gets up a little bit or the wind picks up, I just, uh, it's going to be struggling a little bit. So we had to hit a chippy, chippy 7, and I hit it, and I knew I flushed it a little bit. Um, but I knew if it just didn't fly too far, it was going to take that, hit that backstop there and, and come on back to the hole. And when I knew where it landed, I knew it was going to be really good. So, um, yeah, it was a good shot, and, and it was good for it to, to come back to where it did. Thanks, Billy. Thank you.